hello guys welcome back to my channel today i am explaining you about creation of application and what are the rules that are created by pega once we create an application and what are the differences between authorization and authentication regarding to an operator record so let's get started as i have said in my second video we have to click on application and go to new application select search all types here give Pega rules. I am just creating a basic application which everyone can understand. So I am giving our application name as Zmart and I am clicking on advanced configuration. If I did not click on advanced configuration, I can't uh, give the name for division or unit. Pega will create uh, with some uh, unique values. So if you click advanced configuration, see Pega would be creating all these things with these values. Now to eradicate this, I am giving Zmart as organization and india as division sales as unit and this organization name and this should be same application z1 this is work for now i am creating an implementation application so click save and you click on create application it will take couple of minutes see z has been configured and it is ready to use this is just an optional one you can add if not you can skip this part and you click and click on done so once you have clicked on this now you have to check what are the rules that are present application group access group organization organization name work group work queue now i'm going back to the application under records explorer if you see application definition you have application you can see zmart is an application see the zmart application is built on pega rules this is what we have selected while configuration and this is basic ui kit for ui related purpose scroll down you can see these are the rule sets that are added by pega engine this is zmart this is zmart integration layer this is organization layer and this is organization integration layer these are the four uh, basic integrations and see this is the screen rule i will take at least two to three videos just to explain about screen rule and you can see this is our application url now i'm using this one localhost 8080 pr web pr servlet app pega rules so to access this application we need this so copy this see this one now how to log in this why because we have just seen this but we don't have any operator ids to view it we can go to records organization and operator ids see there are no operator ids created but there are access groups so what is the relationship between operator id operator id is nothing but a person who is willing to access our application so before going to that i would like to clear two things for you guys what is authorization what is authentication authentication is whether you are a valid user or not example you are keying your username and password let's say example hdfc bank you are giving your username and password some random text and you are getting into hgfc bank so then you are able to log in into the system that is nothing but authentication what is authorization authorization is nothing but the services you are seeing able to see for example if you take hgfc bank you have just authorized to access your your savings account personal account or credit card that is nothing but authentication authorization suppose if there is a person uh, called as a bank manager so bank manager have facility to log into sgfc bank managers should authorize some check payments then we can term manager as super user okay and manager should not be able to see the respect to customer savings account balance or the transactions that are done by customer so we are controlling the manager role and a customer role based on few elements that is nothing but authorization so if you take operator record it was linked with authentication and authorization so in pega we are having concepts called access group privileges access role to objects and we have different mechanisms to log in into our application that are supported by pega like sml 2.0 basic authentication ldap authentication where do i check like what are the authentication services accepted by pega just go here sysadmin you can go to authentication service click create you can see authentication type this is single sign on this is 
LDAP connection and this is just basic credentials username and password this is token credentials like uh, if you want to log in with OTP and these are all the different kind of authentication types these three I am not sure about those now we have to create an operator then only we are authenticated to log in into a Zmart application so in Zmart as you as you have seen the rules here first we have added application rules now we have to check access group rules now go to security and you can see access group see these are different access groups that are created by Pega engine so what is the differentiator users like suppose if you log into your flipkart application or sgfc bank you are able to see only screens related to yours so we are not having any admin access or developer access so we are differentiating as users so we can have any number of users in pega but these are the four basic access groups that are differentiated so now i'm going with administrators why need because as a developer i need to log into the system and i need to do some configuration now i'm going to zoom out so this is nothing but an access group an operator is authorized by access group there might be different studios i have told in one of the video like we are having different kind of studios now how we are differentiating like which user can view which studio here we have that is nothing but portals portal rules are nothing but suppose if you are seeing this this is a dev studio portal you can add any number of portals but first time when you log in if you want to see some portal specifically you have to select that now i have selected developer now what are these rules i will be explaining about these access rules in more detailed way in another video you can go operators and see there are no operators available under this access group i have just changed this default portal as developer click save now i am going to operator doing create zmart admin i can use same description over here create and open and you give your first name you can specify your phone number and uh, email id and see here you can select your access group click down arrow and you scroll down you can see this right zmart administrator once you select this you can see it is accessing zmart application what is our present application pega platform this is ootb application specified by pega what is ootb ootb is nothing but out of the box features that are provided by pega if someone says in your project like use this ootb we have to use functionalities provided by pega without any customization so coming back here i have selected zmart administrators if you see work what is this organization unit so whenever an operator is created we will be uh, specifying to one group now if you click update we have already created pega has already created this organization division india and sales suppose in future if your organization wants to have another unit like service and you want to segregate users based on this you can do it here under india division you can create another unit so for the respect to service users you can give that organization unit service click submit and what is this team so all the users of zmod belongs to this default at the red zmod so this team this organization and all are created by pega in our first screen we have now go to security security is anything but authentication area suppose if you want an operator to change the password you can select this now i'm giving update password i'm clicking submit in pega for every rule it is good practice to give description and usage click save now zmart admin operator is created now if you go to access group click actions refresh and go to operators see now i'm going to zmart application copying this url okay again i'm pasting it here now what is the operator id zmart admin password so this is another dev studio uh, don't get confused this dev studio is about administrator access 
and it is pointing to Pega platform application. Yeah, see here we have all the app explorer, record explorer, and see our application is Zmart. Suppose you click on this, this is the operator where you have logged in. Click on this, go to operator. So, this is our access group. Now, I am clicking this and I am adding another access group where I can be a PRPC administrators as well. Okay, now I am clicking save. When, whenever you add a new access group to your operator record, it is good to log off and log in again. I am clicking on the operator record instance, clicking log off and I am again logging in. Now, this operator is having two access groups. Two access group is nothing but this operator can access two applications. So, if you go here, click application, you have an option called switch application. You can go to this application. From now, we won't be using administrator login because now we were, our Zmart admin have access for Pega platform as well as Zmart application. Now, I am again switching back to Zmart. Now, we have seen what is authentication, what is authorization. Going back, as I have said, application group, we have seen, access group, we have seen and we have created an operator and we have seen organization unit, organization work group work queue another thing to notice here is go to app and see our work layer is created so these are all classes created by pega as i have said we have created a zmart as an organization application and you can see these are the data instances and these are the class so if how you can check to which table our uh, organization is mapped zmart definition oh we don't have test connectivity why it's nothing but this is abstract class this is already mentioned in one of the video like if you specify a class as concrete then only you can map it to database otherwise you can't save instances here just you can just you can create rules and use this as placeholder and you can see integration rules can be saved framework layer rules can be saved click on zmart you can see here right under zmart this is zmart is a class so to access this i have to go zmart zmart work this is nothing but this is organization layer this is our implementation layer please rewind if you got confused in pre my previous video i have already told what is organization what is implementation layer so as we have created implementation application this is organization and that we have zmart now if you see data, integration rules, UI pages, work. Where we have to mention our application that these are our data integration UI pages work. Means it is nothing but association, associating these classes to our application. Go to application, definition, cases and data, scroll down, see these are the associated classes. See this is our Zmart application and these are the rule sets, these are scheme rule. Cases and data, this is one of the type. In my next video, I will be covering about this case and data. These are application wizard. This documentation, this is also one of the type. It takes a lot of time you know, to understand uh, what is this integration. Suppose, if you are going to use database provided by Pega, then under content storage, you have to select this storage, store in Pega database security if you want to restrict someone not to update uh, the application rule you can give password here so that only people who knows that password can update this application otherwise it will show error suppose i am clicking this i am giving some password i am updating it saving it now i am going to some other tab example here i am deleting this i am clicking on save see it's asking to supply the password as i have said in pega short to view pz dynasty of our application you can go this here click on view xml see this is our pz dynasty so to promote to next environment you can you have to give this rule application so application rule belongs to rule application otb class and this is our application name and this is our version of the application major minor patch i guess this is enough for today hope you have understood how we have created an application and how we have related 
operator with authentication and authorization and uh, yeah about these two where we can find this under our access group we can see what to record simple guys access group is nothing but a security concern so all these rules will be found in security go to security access group what is our access group zmod administrators if you see here scroll down these are available roles what are the roles we have for the respect to access group that is nothing but ARO if you go to here if you go here if you go here then no access uh, roles and all so this and you can create some privileges here and we can link here so the basic idea is application is related to operator and operator will be just based on authentication and authorization authentication is nothing but we are validating whether the respect to operator is genuine and we are controlling view of operator by this authorization method. hope i have explained you basic configuration of an application and basic difference between authentication and authorization and switching the application and how we will be adding rule sets to an application and what are the classes created by pega engine once you create an application please go through this video once again and please be sure about this concept so it will be useful for me to explain in a good way in my future videos thanks for watching